Hey, this is Matthias from MamaWorld.com and in this tutorial I want to show you the new quantization feature of BeatEdit 2.1. This feature has already been available in BeatEdit 4 Edition and now it's also here for BeatEdit for Premiere Pro and After Effects. So here we are in BeatEdit for Premiere Pro and again this works exactly the same way in After Effects and Audition 2. New in the user interface, you now have this quantization checkbox here. And if I turn it off and on again, you can see that it changes the beat markers in the waveform preview here. So let's first listen to the song without hearing any beat clicks at all. So the song starts with this very fuzzy intro with no clear beat at all. And now, bum, 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 bum. You can hear a very clear beat from now on in the main part of the song, okay? So what does our beat detector do in this case? If we disable quantization, at the beginning, where the beats are so fuzzy, it has problems to predict a clear beat. This is really not that helpful. And now once the real beat starts, it changes instantly and now has detected, has picked up the correct beat. Now if you have these kinds of situations where the main part of your song is correctly predicted but the beginning or the end or something in the middle is not, then quantization will help you because what it does is if you enable it, it takes the beats per minute that most of the song has fit to, so in this case 128 beats per minute, and then it applies this to the entire song. So it assumes that the tempo is never changing. By default, beat edit can handle tempo changes, so whenever some part is difficult to predict, it says, well, maybe here we've got another beat then for the rest of the song and then it might start making mistakes. But with quantization you force it to use one constant BPM for the entire song and therefore if some part in between or like an intro or something is not predicted correctly it will fix this. Yeah? So now you've got an accurate tempo of 128 beats per minute for the entire song. Let's listen to this. And you can see now even in this fuzzy intro part all beats are detected correctly and there is no change in the beat when the intro is over. As a rule of thumb, it's always a good idea to enable quantization unless your song has tempo changes. So in the very unlikely case that your song starts with 100 BPM and in the middle changes to 80 BPM for example, turn quantization off because otherwise beat edit won't detect this tempo change. When music is recorded in a studio, it always has one accurate fixed tempo. But when musicians are doing a live performance, sometimes they are not able to keep the tempo accurately and might speed up or slow down a little bit over time. So if you get a bad beat prediction for a live performance, try to disable quantization. But for most cases, enabling quantization improves the beat detection significantly. In the unlikely case that BeatEdit's prediction is wrong, you can also set the BPM manually. So if BeatEdit thinks that the song has 128 beats per minute, for example, but you know that it is a very slow song with just 64 beats, for example, you can enter this here. You also have an offset parameter here to shift the beats over time. Again, these controls are just for the very unlikely case that the prediction is wrong, and if you accidentally change them, you can always go back to the predicted values using this reset button. So that's the new quantization feature of BeatEdit. I'm Matthias for MamaWorld.com. Have fun with BeatEdit and see you in the next tutorial.